Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I have here today 2008 Toyota Tacoma 4-wheel drive automatic for the rear brake job and also I'm doing automatic transmission fluid flush. The reason is it's a sealed transmission but when it came for detail inspection I took a very tiny sample and said oh yeah this tranny, it's, tranny fluid it's really really bad please consider it in the future for the preventative maintenance now these small samples are great but because you don't want to affect the level of the fluid it's still transmission you really can take just tiny bit then you have to close it right away it came back and i want to show you how bad that fluid is and in my opinion that perfectly proves that these transmissions are perfectly designed and can take a lot of abuse. I already open it and start draining it but I immediately stop because I want to show you all the details. The color, also the thickness. This fluid is way more thick than I'm used to see coming out, spraying all over. This is wow! This is like a very thick oil. Obviously it's oil, but you, you will see. Let me just show you. I couldn't believe how thick it is. And of course, I know you will worry when you see my fingers. You will say, man, wear gloves. Well, I always do. I'm just operating that camcorder for you right now. See already that? But see and observe the thickness of the fluid. It's unbelievable to me. Do you hear the difference? I do this all the time and it immediately caught my attention. This it's normally acting differently. The fluid is thinner, runs differently out. Also the way it hits the pan, it's faster and so on. This is completely old. It's either the age that it's so bad or somebody put incorrect fluid in it. It's also possible. What I'm trying to prove here, other transmissions in some Mercedes, Volkswagen, they will already need a rebuild. They will completely stop working. These Toyota trannies, I don't know how they designed them. They just can take this severe abuse. No replacing the fluids. And they keep shifting perfectly. This taco, we are doing it today because I took a sample a couple of months ago and I recommend it to do that, right? It came here, the tranny doesn't have any problems, shifts perfectly, the truck pulls like a kitten and so on. So isn't this excellent proof that they were perfectly designed and they just can take almost any abuse? I think so. For you enthusiasts who possibly will do this yourself or you could do it yourself and do it more often which will result in keeping nice fluid in this automatic transmission so you can see the opening that's a drain this hex right here some of you know some of you don't so that's an overflow port when you fill your transmission and you want to adjust the fluid level perfectly, you don't have a dipstick, it's a seal transmission, you will follow the conditions, temperature, you will shift through the tranny multiple times, there's a simple procedure, and then you open this and it should be slightly overflowing, the word is trickle, when it overflow of transmission fluid slows to the trickle, that's when you are closing it and you know that under that certain temperature you have perfect level. Do you see these two lines? These are actually going to the radiator and they uh, are cooling, that's extra cooling for the transmission fluid after heavy loads. Now, I will also show you for you who want to do it yourself, the filler. How you fill it? Well, you find the filler. It's right there, 24 millimeter, and it says on it WS. 
and that's the fluid WS it's a world standard and that's what belongs in this transmission I'm suspicious that some service maybe even put the wrong fluid in this tranny and I can finally show you that fluid I'm pretty sure you will agree this is not good it's too old and definitely if you want to keep this vehicle if you want to keep it for the long run you definitely should be changing or flushing these transmission fluids sooner let me just really quickly show you for some newbies what's the color of WS this is the color even if I pull more of it there for you just to give you idea obviously it's a brand new fluid right but this is what we are looking for and this is what we are getting out it's a little bit too late and uh... in my life I own many vehicles different ones different brands different kinds and it always amazes me when I compare it is how Toyota transmissions are tolerant they tolerate way more bad flues low level or overfill and so on they tolerate definitely way more than some Volkswagens, Mercedes, Audis and so on huge huge difference between them and at this point of the video of course please share your experience and comments underneath this video thank you for watching and have a great day my friend